hey guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'm going to show you how to do a bulk edit in this sample application we have two situation here uh, so the first situation is uh, we have here a log application basically this is a for construction example and this log it has related items which is the which are the the stuff they borrowed so as you notice uh, under this log there are related items here that are currently pending so these are the items that the staff borrowed in the store and I use here um, parent and child um, relationship so the parent table is the log and the key column here is the ID or the log ID and the items is the child records and we have a reference type column here which is also a log ID so the first scenario is whenever I'm going to edit this uh, this log I'm going to change the status into return and all those related um, items under this log will be also changed into return and the second uh, situation we have is what if uh, you don't want to change all of the status in the related but you need just to uh, manually select which one uh, which of the items has been returned so we can also uh, do that so the first we are going to do the bulk edit wherein once we click the status it changed the related items status all together so let's first create an action so the first action that we need to create is the action for the child table which is the items the related items so select the items so this is the child table i'm just going to name this update status so here select set values columns of this row select the column that you wanted to update then so you can put the text here so since i'm going just to change it into return i'm just going to type a text here return then appearance i don't like to display it since we are going to trigger this action in the parent table which is the log table we're going to create another action this time we're going to choose an action called execute an action on a set of rows so yeah i'm going to ch change this not this execute an action on a set of rows i'm going just to name this action let's say update trigger so this is will be the trigger and the reference table will be the child table which is the items we already created a reference action in the child table so we name it before update status and reference row this is all about the child table so the child table is select so you have to select where are those rows that you have related items or related so since the items they are related there so we're going to select the key column here so you just insert this and it will include the table name items id and this row so this row since we are using a reference type table so log id this row that log id is equals to the log id in the log table as well okay just going to use that and then let's go into check if it's green it's correct okay then we need just to hide this and we have two ways to trigger this it's either by automation or by form save to make it easy i'm going just to trigger this in form save I'll, and look for the log form which is the parent table and there is what we called here um behavior then update trigger then let's save 
So this is the first situation we have is to update all those related or to edit all those related in one click. All right. So let's see first for this stuff, Michael. And as you can see, it's pending and under the related items, uh, there are also pending items here. So once I edit the, the status and I save, as you can see, it all changed to return. So what if uh, you don't want to update all of this related, but instead um, you're just going to select which one uh, which items has been returned let's say there are 10 items returned so normally what we are doing is just to view and you edit it uh, one by one for example but this one takes time then here another one here so this is return already so for example so this one takes time. Let's say you have 50 items uh, in this related and you're going to do all the way like this, which is not really a time efficient. So the best way to do this is you need to set up this view as a table type. So this is already a table type and click that view. And in the UX, there is what we called here if you scroll down if you're using a table type please note that this is only available in a table type view you scroll down there is what we called a quick edit here so once you click that and see how what is the difference so here for example in this for john for example so they are pending here and there are like four items here. Once we view, you will see now an icon here, which is an edit button. Once you click that, you can update all together. Let's say return without going back and going back. So here, if you did not save the update, I mean, if you did not save this, it will not affect. See, it's still pending. So this is the use of this quick edit. So you can use this uh, in this way, which is very useful. Then see, so let's keep on pending and save. As you can see, it's more easy to edit um, using this by enabling this quick edit. All right, so if you learned something in this video, don't forget to subscribe or comments if you have any question. And thank you so much for watching and see you next time in my next video.